click on program so we get this interface the blue screen so the first thing you should write you must write when you are writing a program in easy pascal you should write the word program so every program in easy pascal starts with the word program welcome back to learning with the Pascalis. if it's your first time watching this channel feel free to like share subscribe and leave a comment today i'm going to write a program that will prompt users to enter number one and number two the program should add both numbers and display the result that's the problem i am going to solve today let's go today i'm going to teach you how to do programming we are going to use easy pascal to write some programs however i am just going to show you the basic today so first thing we need to have easy pascal on our computer go to google and type in easy pascal and download easy pascal on your computer this is what easy pascal looks like when you open easy pascal so when we are writing a program we click on program so we get this interface the blue screen so the first thing you should write you must write when you are writing a program in easy pascal you should write the word program so every program in easy pascal starts with the word program so look so i am going to write program let us give this program a name please note when you are naming your program no space should be no space should be between the name you can use underscore to join the name but no space should be between the name of the program so i am going to call this program basic addition i'm going to use underscore to join the name so basic addition is the name of my program and at the end of this sentence i must put semicolon enter now i'm going to write var because i'm going to declare my variables so num1 is the first variable num2 is and then i'm going to have some because we are dealing with numbers and these numbers are not decimals i am going to use integer as the data type so colon then the word integer semicolon we declare these variables from the start of the program so when we mention in the body in the body of the the program the program will accept the input of the information because the program knows about these variables because we already declared the variables all right so now we have our variables we are going to begin the program so we will start with the word begin and enter and yes i'm going to indent to make the, the word look uniform just like writing a letter so i'm going to give the user some instructions first i'm going to tell the user to write in bracket i'm going to put it please enter num bur one is the same as num one i'm gonna put a colon here then close bracket inside the bracket because we are telling the user to write we are going to put a quotation open and we're going to use open and close quotation because the information in the bracket is going to be displayed on the screen so this is what you are going to see on the screen when we complete the program when we run the program all right 
So we're going to write read and in bracket we're going to have num1 so we're basically storing the number so read is to store the information and write is to display the information close bracket semicolon right now we'll skip a line so now I am going to tell this user to write in bracket we're going to use quotation because the information is going to be displayed so please enter number or num2 number 2 colon quotation close quotation close bracket semicolon remember to put the semicolon at the end of the sentence so you see we have cut um so you see with we have the semicolon here semicolon here so now i'm gonna enter read all right so the read num 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 two semicolon skip or right, enter so now we are going to say sum we're going to use colon and equal sign this means to assign do, do the assignment all right so num1 plus num2 semicolon so write in bracket we are going to have in bracket we're going to have some close bracket semicolon enter read that it must have an end so since we begin this program we are going to stop this program however we must write n must write n at the end of a program followed by a full stop so we are telling that we are telling you that the program is now come to an end so what i am going to do now i am going to compile this program to see what's going on so this is saying that there is an error here so i need to fix it but what i am going to do read i have to add something to this read so i'm going to put ln which is which means read line and for the right we are going to put ln so read line right line so ln 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 see that so now i'm going to click and compile again compile successful that simply means this program will run so let us run this program and see if it is going to do what it's supposed to do let's go run all right so you see up here we have please enter number one so we're going to enter number one so 15 now please enter number two so we're going to enter 20 or 200 enter so you see that 200 plus 15 is 215 right, there are two types of errors we check for when we are writing programming in easy pascal we have syntax error that has to do with grammar incorrect spelling and we have logical error logical errors logical error is basically when you write the program and it is not doing what it's supposed to do that is 
if the program wasn't doing the calculation that it was supposed to do we would, we would be facing logical error so since the program is doing the calculation that it's supposed to do we don't have any logical error so far this brings us to the end of another lesson if you like the content please like share and subscribe thank you for watching see you next time i am out